have not used this camera in four years. I thought it was dead, like it was broken and there was no revive in it. In my opinion, there's no such thing as coincidences. Like I'm really learning to listen to my spirit guides and the signs and all of that stuff. And since I found my gym bag yesterday, I'm going to join my new gym today. No doubt in my mind that everything aligning is the reason why this camera is working today. I'm going to try to use it in the gym. I don't know. I might get a little nervous, but like we'll see. Um, definitely at least record my stretching. Um, I like my hair today. It probably looks just warmed on camera, but I like my hair today. My dad just so happened to have this little tripod with this extension. What's great about me being able to use this camera is that the screen flips up and I can see myself because I used to use this for my under the rim pics. So, yeah, let's go to my new gym. I don't like that the parking lot is not empty. <laughs> I mean, it's not like super duper full, but there's people here. Wish me luck, guys. Bye. So unfortunately, I forgot to adjust my camera settings before I started recording, resulting in this grainy footage you see before you. I decided to keep it in the vlog though, to show I'm just a girl. And if you keep watching, you can see me do it in real time later on. Y'all can read, right? Don't skip this. Six and a half hours later. Am I really on my way to the gym again? This is how hype I am to have joined a new gym, a nice gym, a private gym, a clean gym. Ooh. And I can visit another location on top of that. So I'm about to go to the other gym. The other, other gym. It has a bigger studio room. So I'm going to try recording in there. I love putting on my gloves. I be feeling like a superhero or some shit, like real mystique vibes, I don't know why. Anyway, here's my stretch routine. I pretty much do the same movements every day. Hold each pose to your own liking. I listen to my body. I do three sets of every stretch. I also do three sets of 20 reps for each exercise. Since that's a high number, I tend to count to 10, then count back down to 1. Here's an example of me completing a full set. I know it may look like it's a breeze, but trust me, it's not. The first set is always the hardest, but after that, I'm like, what's next? Take your time, breathe, and drink. Here's another example of me completing a full set with the 10 second trick countdown. Breathing throughout your sets and after your sets is very important. When I do this core routine, I tend to rest about 30 to 45 seconds. These are the hardest. <laughs> These are the hardest things to do in my entire core routine. Uh, I forgot what they're officially called. I just call them knee to elbows. Jesus Christ, these shits fucking burn. I don't even have a set number. That's how much these shits hurt. I just do it till I can't anymore, and then I stop, and I do it two more times after that. 
you guys remember I said I do three sets. In reality, I'm just thinking about how tight and snatched and strong my core is finna be in three months. Cause I ain't playing no fucking games. If I gotta do this shit every day, I'ma do it every fucking day. Twice a day. Three times a day. In my sleep, okay? And we just gonna rest here for a minute because yeah. Now we're doing these supermans. I just recently added this in my comfort core routine. Um, I also don't have a set amount of time I hold these for. I just kind of do it. I, I do need to structure that out though. Like I, I will within the next week or so. Last but not least are side planks. I do three sets of these and I hold them each for 30 seconds. I just needed a break, that's why I'm sitting on this box right here, but I said to myself, bitch, there are no breaks, so pick up them dumbbells and let's just do some arm movements. So I did that. I'm also trying to unbig this back, so I snuck a little straight bar pull down in there, just a little, a little, a little funny extra on, on, on top of the core day, sprinkle, sprinkle, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? All our racks are big, bitch. In reality. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. I'm sorry. Did I just do it too? Yes, I did, bitch. Yes, we did, bitch. Now you know I had to take my end of the workout selfie pic. If you didn't, now you do. Here I am sitting in the hydro massage chair for muscle recovery and this is really my only downtime for real so I decided to FaceTime my boyfriend because he was driving across the country so I just wanted to check in and make sure he's still alive. Move your body, fit bitches up, how girls live, all of that good shit. Ah. Shin me! 